you were mentioning that about your past lives. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned yes. you mentioned that about your past lives. Now, I, I, have, I, have I dreamt this that, that you have some psychic abilities? You haven't dreamt that. I am very, very psychic. Really, very psychic. And that's helped me a lot in my life. I follow certain instincts. <laughs> I'll wipe the smile off that. I'm very well, psychic, Craig. Yes, you're talking about your psychic abilities, yes. And so have you. You don't know, it comes from your Irish background. Yes. Your, your Celtic background. Yes. It's part of your heritage. You follow your feelings, don't you, Graham? I do. I do, Dave Edna. Perhaps a little too far sometimes. <laughs> it has happened. <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever used your psychic powers professionally? Oh, no, no, I haven't. I... I'm not interested in money, Graham. I do things because I care for people. Money sometimes comes my way, of course. <laughs> We've struck solid gold. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm surprised you didn't do me freshly because my favourite magazine, my favourite magazine... Oh, what's that? A chat magazine. Chap magazine. Chat. Now they have a I psychic. Thought you said Chap magazine. No. no. <laughs> Chap. They have a, a psychic column, which I assumed you wrote, because look, it's called Spooky. It's called. You see, and I've I thought never you... heard of this magazine, Spooky. It'll take me quite a while to read this. <laughs> shall I you tell want you? Want me to sit here reading this? No. Shall I tell you what it says? <laughs> it's. it's tell me. <laughs> this, <laughs> this, this is good though, because down the bottom there are these, um, there are live psychics you can call. Good heavens! Why don't we call one? Well now, <laughs> but, uh, we've got to call for a reason. You have to think of a reason. Think of a reason. Now, is there anyone in the audience? <laughs> <laughs> is there anyone in the audience uh, who has like something big happening in the future that it's obviously a psychic wouldn't know about? But da, da, da. like, is there anyone? Um, is anyone in the audience engaged? Say. <laughs> oh look at the, oh look at them show. <laughs> Are you going to get? You're getting married. Well, that's the plan. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't bode well, does it? <laughs> what, what are your names? Uh, Sally Ann. And Mark. Mark. And when are you planning to get married? Well. <laughs> <laughs> Next year. Now, listen, a psychic can't know if you don't. <laughs> Next year, Graham. Should we, uh, should we ring the hotline to find Let's out? Let's find out if this psychic woman knows some of the things about you that we now know. Yes. Now, uh, so it's a live thing, so I'll just do the... Are you married, Celia? Divorced. Twice. Twice. Yes. New phone calls cost £1.50 per minute and are recorded for your protection. You have to be 18 or over to use this service. Yes, if you have a preferred reader, please press 1 now, no. or press 2 to be put through to the next available okay. reader. So do you want to be Sally-Ann? Do, do you want to talk to the lady and oh, ask yes. Sally-Ann she's going to get married? To connect you. Hmm. I'll have to put on another voice. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh, hello. Can I take your name? My name is Sally Ann. Hello. Have you used the service before? Well, no, I haven't, but I've read your advertisement in Chat magazine. Right. And I am engaged at the moment, and I'm a little bit nervous about it all. Right. Do you think it's going to happen, or...? Right, Sally Ann, before I go into your reading, I have to ask you a couple of questions. Yes. Um, first of all, I have to remind you calls cost 150 per minute. <laughs> and 
May I take your date of birth? Well, <laughs> my birth date is the 17th of February, 1952. <laughs> and, and so you want to know if this gentleman that you're engaged to um, I'm frightened he might let me down. His name is Mark. Right. What is Mark's date of birth? Well, uh, he's never really told me. <laughs> uh, but I think it was about June the 23rd, 1947. <laughs> Now, Sally Ann, I, um, t um, uh, I've, I have been talking to you for a few minutes now, and I'm going to ask you to try another reader because I I'm not picking anything up, I'm not connecting with you, so I do apologise to you. Oh, wait, wait, have so we been charged 150 for this? Give me no, that. No, no, just a minute. <laughs> have we been charged 150 for this? Now, listen, because of your huge global success, <laughs> you know, you've got all your choices. You can live in L.A., you can live here. Why do you spend so much time in Australia still? Well, I'm a non-dom, as a matter of fact, whatever that may mean. No, I'm not. I live in Australia <laughs> because it's my home. My roots are there. And, of course, my husband's tomb is <laughs> His obelisk. I have to go back and buff up his obelisk quite often. <laughs> and funnily enough, Graham, he used to like me doing that when he was still alive. <laughs> <laughs> he did. But I go back because it's... Well, Australia is my home. And it's not that far. A lot of people in England say it's a long way, but to me it's only five movies. Five <laughs> movies. You get in the plane and you're there. You know, I, I don't know where I'm going to put this woman. <laughs> in a perforated suitcase, probably. <laughs> in worse places. I'm sorry, Celia, what did you say? She's learning on the job. It's good. She, <laughs> this woman is perfect. <laughs> I like her. I shouldn't, but I do. One has to learn on the job. I'm sorry? You only learn by experience. Practice. Well, you would have a lot of knowledge tucked away, wouldn't you? <laughs> I don't think I've seen quite such an experienced woman for some time. But, uh, 